For now, Brave takes the first place on my browser list, but I am continuing my quest to find the best browser around the globe. Could it be the Arc browser? Flat Earthers might disagree. To find out if they're right, I'm here with a thorough Arc browser review, including all of its pros and cons. All right, first we have to download Arc Browser. I'll be doing this review on Mac as that's the operating system I used mostly when testing it. After the download, you have to create an account by entering your name, email, and password. But wait, hold up. Am I just supposed to trust this blindly? Nah, hell nah. What about this thing called privacy? Given that Arc is a Chromium-based browser, it operates on the same underlying technology as many other browsers. The problem is that most of those are maintained by Google, which is known for many a thing, including extensive data collection. Now, Arc is slightly different from most Chromium-based browsers. It uses essential parts of Chromium, but other features are custom built. Most importantly, they're not affiliated with Google and don't sell your data to them. While that's great, it does raise another question. How do they make money? No data selling? The browser's free? Is it jammed with ads? Nope, that's not the case either. Well, so far it's just an investment, but the plan is to make money from businesses and companies with productivity tools. Another way for them to make money in the future is from additional paid customizations, and something they're calling boosts. At the moment, it doesn't have that much and everything is free, but the plan is to expand. It can change colors and fonts on the page as well as hide any given part of the page. For instance, you can remove sidebars from LinkedIn. Now, while that is great and all, I found it to still be quite buggy sometimes when I try to cut part of the page. It wouldn't go away altogether. All right, now that we've covered the privacy part and how the browser company, yes, that's their actual name, <laughs> plans to make money, let's continue with the setup. After after the registration, you can customize your experience by selecting the apps you use most frequently and even pick a funky color for your Arc browser theme. Arc gives you the option to block ads. Naturally, that's a no-brainer. Additionally, you can choose to integrate their AI assistant, Max, to enhance your browsing experience. Considering that enabling this option requires sending my data to their AI partners, I'm not going to allow that for now. Then, as every browser ever known to humans, it wants to be my default browser. But it's up to you if you trust Arc enough with such an honor and privileged position. As a quirky touch, you also receive an Arc card with your details, reminiscent of a Pokemon card. Not, not sure how useful that is, but it's a fun addition nonetheless. Well, that's all for the setup. Now that we have the Arc Browser Mac window open, let's see what features it has to offer. And it has a lot. Let's begin with the sidebar, as that is what caught my attention first. It allows you to clearly see all your tabs and easily pin or hide anything as needed. Yeah, I know it looks kind of huge, but you can just hide it all together by clicking on the toggle button right here. Next, you can organize your chaos with folders, just like on your computer. Drag and drop tabs into these bad boys and sort them by projects, topics, or whatever floats your boat. Expand or collapse them for peak visibility. The spaces feature is where it gets really cool. Think themed groups for your tabs. Each space has its own vibe with a unique set of tabs, pin sites, and even custom themes. Perfect for juggling school, work, and your side hustle, and switching between them is smoother than a TikTok transition. Now, there is one feature that I personally found to be very useful. I tend to keep many tabs open for no good reason. That's where Auto Archive comes in. To turn it on, head to the settings menu and it will automatically close all unpinned tabs after a set time, keeping your browser clutter free. The Arc web browser offers even more features that take your browsing to the next level. If you need to keep things separate, you can create new profiles and switch between them whenever needed. Each profile has its own saved tabs, extension settings, and more perfect for a shared household or balancing work and play on the same PC. Peak is a total game changer too. Just hover over any link to get a quick preview without leaving your current page. While the split feature lets you multitask like a boss, splitting your screen into two or even four. With this, I can watch TikToks and Insta Reels at the same time for double the brain rot. Now, the little arcs feature pops up when you click on a link from apps like Slack or iMessage, giving you a mini version of the arc for quick peeks. The live 
library is what it sounds like. It's your go-to spot for all your media, downloads, notes, and more. The mini player keeps your videos and music playing in the corner while you browse so you never miss a beat. Instant Links lets you quickly access your fave websites or search results with a simple shortcut. Easels are my favorite. I use them as mood boards or idea dumps, adding screenshots, text, and doodles. Plus, you can share them with friends who can also edit them. Talking more about Arc Browser Shortcuts, it has a long list of keyboard shortcuts that you can use for your convenience. You can find them on the Arc Browser website. To make things easier for you, I'll leave a link in the description. Overall, there are a lot of features packed into this browser, so you might wonder about performance. From my experience using it, there was no performance issues whatsoever. Everything was smooth, which I can't say about Chrome. All right, so during the setup, I chose not to go with the Max AI powered bundle, but it has some nice functionalities. Those include asking Max a question about something on the page and quicker access to ChatGPT. Those didn't look that useful to me, to be honest, but I like the tidy tab titles and download functionality. It automatically renamed my messy tabs and downloads names to be more convenient. Since Arc is a new browser in town, you might be worried about compatibility, but it's available across multiple devices making it a great choice for most setups. It supports all of Chrome's extensions, ensuring a seamless experience for those accustomed to Chrome's vast extensions library. Currently, Arc is available on Mac and was recently released on Windows 11. For mobile devices, Arc supports iOS 16 and above, but sadly, an Android version is only slated for release later in the year. So while it doesn't cover everything you'd probably want, it's getting there. Okay, during the setup, we also enabled the ad blocker, but does it actually work? Well, from my experience, it does, and it's not bad at all. Arc for Mac comes with uBlock Origin installed by default, effectively blocking many ads. While Brave is known for its excellent ad blocking performance and may have a slight edge, the difference isn't that big. But overall, if comparing Brave versus Arc, it's tough. It is a tough call. Both browsers perform exceptionally well on a Mac with no noticeable instabilities or performance issues. While Brave remains a favorite for its ad blocking prowess, Arc stands out for its extensive features features and versatility, offering much more functionality at the moment. With that in mind, I can definitely recommend trying out the Arc browser. It won't cost you anything. I've been trying it out myself with my main browser for some time now, and so far, I love it. And what are your thoughts on the Arc browser? Have you tried it already? Leave a comment. Well, that's all from me on how to use Arc browser. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.